CompTIA A plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 3.4. Given a scenario, install and configure motherboards, central processing units, and add-on cards. Motherboard Connector Types. This video will have us exploring the various types of connectors found on motherboards. Some of these we have covered earlier in this course, but there will be a few new details and a few new connector types that will be included as well, so it is best to pay attention to avoid missing anything. With that said, our first motherboard connector type will be PCI, Peripheral Component Interconnect, or PCI for short, is a standard expansion connector or slot that is commonly found on older computer motherboards. These slots enable users to connect various expansion cards. Examples include sound cards for improved audio output, network adapters for seamless internet connectivity, and graphics cards for enhanced visual performance. While PCI slots are gradually becoming less prevalent in modern motherboard designs, they retain significance in legacy systems and specific niche applications where older hardware configurations persist. Moving on, we have PCI's more contemporary replacement, PCIe or PCI Express. In recent years, PCIe has risen as the leading standard for expansion slots in modern motherboard designs, replacing the traditional PCI architecture. The PCIe interface boasts several advantages over its predecessor, notably providing significantly higher bandwidth and faster data transfer rates. This enhanced performance makes PCIe particularly well-suited for demanding computing tasks ranging from immersive gaming experiences to resource-intensive multimedia editing projects. Moreover, PCIe's scalability and versatility are evident in its various slot sizes, including by 1 by 4 by 8 and by 16 configurations. Each designation corresponds to the number of lanes allocated for data transfer, allowing for tailored connectivity solutions that cater to diverse hardware requirements. Among the essential power connector types for motherboards, we have the 20-pin, 20 24-pin, and 20-plus 4-pin connectors. The 20-pin connector was a standard for older motherboards, but has largely been replaced by the more robust 24-pin connector. This 24-pin connector provides additional power for modern systems with more advanced components and higher power requirements. As for the 20 plus 4 pin connector, this offers flexibility by combining the 20 pin and 24 pin configurations into a single connector. This design allows compatibility with both older and newer motherboards, ensuring seamless integration across a range of hardware configurations. Next, we have a few motherboard connector types that are used to connect hard drives to the system. Serial Advanced Technology Attachment, or SATA connectors, are one such connector type. They are used to connect storage devices such as hard disk drives, HDBs, and solid-state drives, SSDs, to the motherboard. SATA offers high-speed data transfer rates and is widely used in modern computers for connecting internal storage devices, providing reliable storage solutions for various applications. External Serial Advanced Technology Attachment, or eSATA ports, are external SATA connectors that allow users to connect external storage devices, such as external hard drives directly to the motherboard. eSATA offers faster data transfer speeds compared to USB connections, making it a preferred choice for users requiring high-speed external storage solutions. As for M.2, this connector type is used in conjunction with a cutting-edge interface that is revolutionizing storage solutions in modern computer systems. These compact and versatile connectors enable direct attachment of solid-state drives to the motherboard, offering unparalleled performance and flexibility. Additionally, their diminutive size and low profile make them ideal for compact builds and portable devices. Last up, we have motherboard header connectors. 
Headers on the motherboard serve as vital connectors that link various internal components, offering a versatile platform for integrating peripherals and accessories into the computer system. These connectors, often located along the edges of the motherboard, establish connections with components mounted within the computer case. One of their primary functions is facilitating the connection of USB ports, enabling seamless integration of external devices such as keyboards, mice, printers, and storage drives. These headers typically connect to ports located on the front or top panel of the computer case, allowing for easy access and convenient connectivity. Moreover, headers play a pivotal role in linking audio jacks, establishing a pathway for transmitting audio signals between the system and external speakers, headphones, microphones, and other audio devices. These connectors typically link to audio ports located on the front or top panel of the computer case, providing users with immersive audio experiences while engaging in gaming, multimedia playback, and communication. Front panel headers on the motherboard enable the connection of essential controls, including power buttons, reset buttons, and LED indicators directly to the case. By linking these components to the motherboard, users can conveniently manage system power, perform resets, and monitor system status from the front panel of the case. Additionally, Headers for fans provide a means of connecting case fans, CPU fans, and other cooling components directly to the motherboard. These connectors facilitate system cooling and optimize thermal performance by regulating fan speeds based on temperature sensors located throughout the case. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.